He's ready for the review. So, gonna review 12 sets this time. They are the Avmatorns and Agoris. Yeah, basically the most hated builder since TTV made their top 10 worst Bionicle sets. Because I have never seen a single person complaining about these sets until they made that video. But anyways, on with the review. Avmatoy came out in 2008 and they were Tenma, Solik, Voltok, Radiac, Gavla, and Kirop. They have 14 pieces, but Radiac is the only one of the Avmatoin that has 16 pieces. Agoris came out after the Avmatoin in 2009, and they were Atticus, Wanu, Tarduk, Barracks, Metis, and Sisk. They have around 13 to 17 pieces. Now, I would take them apart and say, with these being the new parts and recolors at the time when they were released, but due to these having the 08 sockets and Tanma having the most breakable limb color, I'm just going to say that the majority of the parts are new at the time when they were released. All of these sets have a very basic build and color scheme, and it uses either of these pieces. As you can immediately tell that the limbs aren't bendable, like with every other Matoin size sets. But instead, the limbs have a socket to connect to the body, which makes pulsing much better. Though sets that uses this limb piece for legs looks pretty awkward pulsing. Along with having these sets to focus more on a design with having more of the new pieces, instead of just recolors like the last two years of Matoin before it or three years if you count the Wahaga. But the design of the pieces are very nice, but this torso piece of how the connection of the arms are placed bugs me a bit. However, the sets that have this torso piece arms connection low would have looked very bad, though the Avmatorn and Agoris that uses this piece doesn't look bad. Out of these sets, Radiac, Tarduk, and Sesk stands on four legs. Radiac uses blade pieces and Tarduk uses claw pieces as their feet. Sesk have a tail that uses a Nikolo armor to connect its tail, which these three look very nice and unique from the other of its build. As I said before with the color scheme, it's simple, especially with the Avmatorn, which one half had dark grey and the other half have black, which I really like instead of just the light Matoin have jetpacks and the shadow Matoin being vampires. That the jetpacks is great, but the bat wings are disappointing. But the light Matoin might not look good in light grey, but I wish the dark grey was in light grey. For the heads, mask, and helmets, the Avmatorn have the ugliest heads. I can't even tell where its eyes are. They really should have been a better head than this. However, the masks are great and resemble their Toa and Makuta counterpart very well. And I wonder why Gavla mask look like an angry puppy. As for the Agoi heads, that looks much better and look like I'm pretty sure I just made a bunch of veteran YouTubers feel older from that. Anyways, the heads have an axle hole on the top of their heads instead of the mouth, which is the first time that the helmets were connected from the top of the heads instead of the face. With the helmets look fantastic, only half of the helmets resemble their Glatoyan counterpart a little. Last are the weapons. Besides from Meta Snowflake Shield and Atticus Glow in the Dark Swords looking beautiful and well designed, everyone else's weapons are reused weapon pieces, some of them recolored. 
So there isn't much to say about them. Overall, I recommend them. They are very nice and detailed looking sets, but as I brought up in my Hero Factory 1.0 review, people are going to label these as bad because of no knees and elbows along with the pieces being big chunk of plastic, yet ignore all of the connection that it have. Especially Marcus to seeing these as useless instead of a challenge to find a different ways to use them, such as armor, a core piece for a body, lower legs, and more, rather than just to keep using Technic, Inaika, and Ultra Build pieces, and mainly relying on those. Now, as I brought up before, these sets uses the O8 socket, which take no effort to break, just like every other set around 2008 to 2010. Especially Tama Limbs. I literally had to go and buy this set a new Lama in order to make this review. But repeating the rant I made in my 1.0 review over, these sets get a cup of Tama Broken Limbs. Thank <laughs> you.